what up youtube it's your girl deja maxine back with another video as you can see by the title and by my shirt go gsu i'm gonna be doing my gsu advice slash experience video and basically it's just me you know giving the upcoming freshmen upcoming transfer students you know some free game because hopefully corona willingly we go back to school in the fall but yeah we about to get into this video so first we're going to start with the do's and don'ts of classes at georgia state university so your first don't please do not pick an eight o'clock class i don't care if those advisors whomever tell you you know pick something early so you can hurry up to be done with the class you're not you're not gonna go to class okay like for me my first semester there at georgia state i had an 8 a.m and I skipped that 8 a.m. about like six times, knowing attendance was a grade. Literally, I would wake up at like seven o'clock in the morning and ha only have time to like eat, not even eat. I only have time to like wash and put on and just throw anything on and just get to class. And then by after my 10.45 class would be done, I would just go, go to the dorm, go straight to bed. Like I was just done for it. Like, I do not recommend an 8 o'clock. I also don't recommend a 9.30 because that's also too early for me, only because I'm a morning person, which is why my next tip I'm going into is pick your classes early. As soon as they release, like, I guess, the schedule of classes, go ahead and start looking. And as soon as you're able to start uh, registering, start registering, because I kid you not, them classes go up fast. A lot of times it's um, conflicts as to why like certain classes don't work in terms of time, restricted to freshmen. And you just want to make sure that you have a schedule that you really like. Like, like for me, um, this semester that's coming up in the fall, I ended up getting another 8 a.m. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You and I really didn't want it, but like I said, a lot of classes were restricted to freshmen. But I got unlucky though, because the thing about it was I registered the first day that classes were able to be registered for. And I still got an 8 a.m. But it's okay though, cause you know, I'm almost done. I graduated in two years, but anyway, yeah. Also, make sure that y'all get to class on time. Cause I used to go to class, especially at my morning classes, I used to get there like 20, 30 minutes late. And really I used to miss out on a lot of information. Make sure y'all get to class on time. In addition to getting to class on time, make sure that you be outside to catch them buses at least shit, 20 to 15 minutes before. Because let me tell y'all about these green ride buses. Let me tell y'all, if y'all stay in North, Make sure that you walk your ass to Commons because by the time that bus gets to North, it's going to be full and you're going to have to wait. And the thing about Green Route is instead of one bus going and then when the other bus gets to the student center, that's when the other bu bus goes. Sorry, y'all. Both buses be going at the same time, one, the af one after the other. So then it's like the both buses will be packed and you have to sit here and wait for both buses to come back around. And it's like at that point, it's like, do I keep waiting? Or do I just walk? And I've had them kind of days, especially when it was raining, especially when it was cold. And it's like, bro, literally, it's like everybody be sitting on a bus, everybody be standing on the bus, and the bus driver just be like, look, we done. And then some of them be like, you can't be stepping over the yellow line. And that be the drivers that piss me off because it's like, look, man, I don't want to walk. But yeah, um, if you have a class at Adderhold, nine times out of 10, you're going to walk. Like, I had a class in Adderhold my um, second semester only caught that bus like twice and let me tell y'all something that walk going um past central in the racetrack to get to Adderhold bro that wind is so fucking evil I kid you not whether it's winter or summer your ass is going to be blowing into the buildings like that wind is so strong for no reason like I forgot what they call it I think they call it the t not the tunnel of death they call it something but y'all if you got on some tracks, some glued in tracks that you know ain't secured, baby, you gonna have to put a hat on that because them bitches is blowing out, okay? <laughs> but yeah, another thing, rate my professor is also your friend. I say go for the professors with like a 3.0 rating or better. I mean, sometimes you just gonna get stuck with like a bad professor because that's what happened to me or that's what's happening to me at least with um fall semester that's coming up. I really didn't have no choice. It was a limited selection of professors in my 
my schedule just wasn't going how I wanted it to. So unfortunately, I got professors with like 2.5 ratings. Everybody saying they hard. They say they give a whole bunch of curves. Yada, yada, yada. So use rate my professor to the best of your abilities that you can. And if you can't, well then good luck, Charlie. But yeah, next, campus. So the first thing I want to talk about with campus life is the dining hall. So it's three dining halls. It's Patton, Central, and North. In my opinion, somebody may attack me over this, but North kind of had the best food. That's where I stayed at. They kind of had the best food, in my opinion. It's just the only difference between um, North and the other ones is Central had more food. So you had more selections. But Central food what it, wasn't always hitting. And Patton, a lot of people say Patton is good. Patton was nasty to me the times that I went. I also advise you, if you're staying in Commons, which um, you don't have to have a meal plan for there, I say don't get it because it's going to be a lot of days when you walk into the dining hall and you just like, this not this ain't that. I'm not finna eat that. Like I had a lot of days where I was just, I was just like, fuck it. I'll just eat what's in the dorm, which would have been some like off brand chips and some ramen noodles. But that was better than what they had in there. Like you gonna see that the food get old real quick. And yeah, you gonna be at racetrack a lot. Let me just tell you that. Or the Walgreens getting some food, but yeah. So residents. So the dining, I mean not dining hall, ooh. <laughs> the um residence halls was cool or whatever the dorms that's what i meant to call it the dorms was cool or whatever like i said i stayed in north not north a i stayed in north b you know in a way it was real easy to make friends like i remember the second day there our room was full of people that we ain't even know we were just having like a little mini party or whatever what not but they cool or whatever ladies if you are walking and you see some niggas by comments that's sitting keep walking them niggas do not go to georgia state they are for the streets all they literally all they do is come up to georgia state and just watch the females and try to hot down on every female they see it's like these niggas have nothing better to do do not talk to them if you see a fine nigga at a racetrack baby run he is for the streets i'm telling y'all like don't talk to nobody at the racetrack they 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 not they look they main goal is to sit there and watch the girls that go to georgia state don't talk to them y'all also don't be afraid of the homeless people you can be don't be afraid but like be on a watch basically because some of them the crazy ones they will try you but the other ones they don't be on nothing for me like they be minding their business some of them will talk to you they funny and some of them be like teaching you like life lessons and stuff like is this one dude his name preacher man he, like, I remember the first time I, I encountered him, he was following us, and I was just laughing and stuff. But he be dancing and stuff. He be funny. My, one of my friends was, like, he was um telling him to stay in school so he doesn't end up like him. It's kind of sad, but it's like, you can learn a lot from them. So, you know, if, if you have a conversation with them, you know, your mama not going to hit you for talking to a stranger, you know. It's, it's okay. But, yeah. So, my next thing is the park. <laughs> okay stop okay so georgia state party so it's parties every day every day damn near that's probably a stretch but it's parties every week so if you miss one it's okay it's gonna be another let me tell y'all so my first party that i went to at georgia state was pajama jam where you could wear pajamas on your dinner I didn't have no money for no pajamas, no sexy pajamas. And it was on too short notice because I didn't even know if I was going because I was scared. Oh, I was, I was scared to go because my mama. But anyway, that was my first party that I went to. And it was so fun. Like, I remember I would, we got skip line tickets, me and my roommate, because I didn't want to stay in no line because they were just like, you need to get the skip line, la, 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 promoting and all that shit. I should have, I could have stood in line, but whatever. I remember me and my uh, roommate was standing in line. These people, they was just drinking. They was like, do you want something to drink? I'm like, uh-uh, I don't know, y'all. That thing made me laced. I'm like, no, I couldn't drink it. Don't do that for everybody, but it wasn't nothing wrong with it. People just that friendly. But, yeah, the party was lit. The atmosphere, like, the vibes, everybody was just turned up. It was like little, not strippers, but it was like girls in their little fishnet, twerking, shaking their ass. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm over here, you know, doing my little one leg thing on my roommate. My roommate, but, you know, whomever. And then, y'all, at one point, 
my roommate was supposed to be behind me because I didn't twerk on nobody. And all of a sudden, I just feel like, okay, this part kind of nasty, but I feel like sweat and stuff. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, girl, you done got hot already? I turn around. Like that, right? I see this fine-ass chocolate nigga. Pretty teeth. I'm like, uh-uh, who are you? He talking about some. I go to Morehouse. I see, no. Cut it. Never mind. I don't even watch. Yo, I don't go for the Morehouse niggas. Don't do it. But yeah, I'm just like, how old is you? Like, that's another thing. Niggas, like, especially for the young freshmen like I was, like, I quit the, uh, college 17. It be niggas that be 23 and up that be trying to talk to you, knowing that you 17, any 18 yet. I be like, oh yeah, I'm 17, about to turn 18. Oh, what, what that mean? Like, it's so nasty. And it be a lot of pedophiles too, so y'all watch out. But my advice to y'all about the parties is, if you ain't never drank before, first of all, don't be don't be sitting here trying to, you know, be cute for the gram, taking three, five, 17 shots, and you fucked up in the hospital or anything like that. Because if y'all come back to the dorm drunk and the RAC, depending on how petty they feeling, you can end up, um, end up going to the deans and all that because of that. Because that's what I, happened to me in a way. Like, I got drunk in my dorm, and somebody told our RAs, and we had to go through court and all of that whole bunch of bullshit community service uh fucking test to make sure that i wasn't drinking or smoking and stuff like that too much so if you can handle your liquor drink it if you can't baby girl don't drink it um a lot of times they'll have like edibles or plugs um sorry i was looking at the window and plugs at at um the parties if you ain't never smoked before don't do it in public literally my first time smoking one campus in my dorm i had a panic attack i'm going to include a video so y'all can see how fucked up i was because that it wasn't cool at all like i didn't even know that i could act like that for real like when i looked at the video from my roommate i was like Girl, that's me. Like, ow. <laughs> no. Also, if you go to parties, I, I mean, I don't know if nobody that goes to a party by themselves except for like a nigger or something. Make sure you go with a friend, though. Just have like a little buddy system because, again, we do live in Atlanta, which is um the number one city for the like highest rate of sex trafficking. I don't want nothing to happen to y'all. Make sure that y'all safe. Y'all got a buddy. Number four, vibe out. Live your best life at your party, at that party, not your party, that party. If you want to, you know, twerk in the middle of the floor and have everybody, and you know, be on everybody's Snapchat, do that, baby. Because this is college. We're here to live our best life, okay? I'm telling you, like, it's so fun. I can't wait for my next Georgia State party because I just be too lit. Um, My fifth thing for y'all, tips at parties. Um, Not every nigga deserves attention. You know you can twerk. You don't have to twerk on every nigga, okay? Because twerking on every nigga, one of them niggas going to touch you in the wrong way. And he may follow you around the whole venue because that happened to me before. And I don't even twerk on niggas at parties. Like, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do it this one time. I kid you not. This nigga followed me around the whole fucking warehouse building, whatever the fuck it was that we was in. We kept saying, oh, we going to be back. We going to get a drink. Oh, I'm going to come with you nigga like bro i kid you that that fucking night blew me because i'm like why do you keep following me and at that point he was like bro am i bothering you because he's like y'all bitches moving around too much i was like yeah i don't even know you for real you just too up too much up on me but i'm not a mean person so i'm like can you get off me and then he was all sad and shit and i'm like i don't care like i would never twerk on another nigga at a party again but yeah another thing I need to tell y'all about in terms of the sex trafficking thing so i know when i was on campus it was these ladies i know this went viral too um they was talking about mother god and stuff like that and they was trying to recruit people to you know pray with them but the whole time they sex traffickers and one of them ladies actually came up to me but i didn't know but all i gotta say is in the with the whole sex trafficking thing I know Atlanta, you know, some of you females may look at it as a land of opportunity. So, you know, you're trying to get into modeling and stuff like that, other business endeavors. And all I want to say is be careful because not everybody is who they 
say they is. I tried to say something else, but not everybody is who they say they is. So let's say you see or hear about a modeling opportunity out there. Be careful because you could fuck around and be up in a warehouse with five bitches that's tied up and now you number six. But other than that, to the haters at the other GSU and to the other schools that say Georgia State don't really have a campus, baby, Atlanta is our campus and we have learned to love it and we have learned to blossom in it. So to the class of 2024, 2023, 2022, 2021, because I said transfers and upcoming freshmen, welcome to Georgia State. Let's do this the state way. And I hope y'all enjoy. Y'all stay. This your girl, Deja Nate Free. Signing out. Mm.